behind me in this Antipodean crystal emporium of culture, their beats, the Greta Garbo of heavy rock, Australia's own Chrissy Amphlett. She's in there, she's thinking, oh no, Paul's going to interview me today from the Sydney chapter of the factory. He's going to expose my most intimate details, my most biggest secrets. How is she going to cope? She's a total professional. Just watch what sort of answers she comes up with when we delve into her new drama career with Willie Russell's play, Blood Brothers. So Chrissy, how difficult is it to sing in a drama theatre as opposed to kind of like a sweaty pub? It's a lot quieter. A lot quieter? Mm. <laughs> um, how did you kind of like get used to it? On Was it difficult on opening night? Um, well, we, don't, we had done three previews before to get used to the audience and by opening night, I mean, it was still pretty nerve-wracking. The first preview, I was really, I was nearly sick. Really? With nerves. <laughs> it was pretty terrifying. And um, it's a whole different thing, because the audience is sort of looking down on, at the stage at you. And it's very intimate. The theatre's quite intimate. Mm. And um, uh, it's, it's very much different for, for me to be on stage speaking lines and playing a character, and playing a character who's um, quite worn out and she has seven children and um, she's a lot different to... to uh, the person that you are. The person that I am. Did you ever think when you just kind of recorded All the Boys in Town or one of those songs that you'd be doing drama within a few years? Uh, no, I didn't. I had no idea. What would you have thought about drama in those days? Would you have thought it was well, for older people or...? Well, I, I thought, um, you know, I, was, I suppose I've always been interested in it, but... Um, I like doing this play because it says something and it's worthwhile. It has, um, it has um, Good a lot comment. of social comment in it and it deals with a lot of issues that are happening around at the moment. Um, it's not one of those things, it's just a spectacle. I mean, it really challenges you to, to, to participate in it emotionally and, and um, it's um, quite thought-provoking as well. What did you think the first night when people kind of weren't throwing empty VB cans or something like that in the middle of it? Or... No, it was odd. <laughs> I thought, well, you know, what's going on here? Where's Mark doing the windmills exactly. behind me? Exactly. Kind of thing. It was different. This is uh, it's so much more subtle. Because this is also funny too. There's a lot of laughs in it as well. Mm. Um, but it's a much more subtle thing. The energy is much more contained. Do you think you were picked for the part because you're kind of a theatrical performer on stage with your band? Um, maybe yes. Maybe because of my theatrical leanings. Mm. Mm. Now, what about the future of the, the, the Divinals? Do you, do you go back on the road after you've finished Yes, we'll season? be doing a concert tour and we'll, we have to go back to America, making more albums and touring and writing more songs. Are you still enjoying it, the, 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 the rock and roll performance? Oh, yeah, I love it. I love it, that. It's yeah. a whole different thing. It's a whole mm. different kind of energy.